What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Steve Busa GS Way. <laughs> Got another scorecard reaction for y'all, and you already know what it is. <laughs> Let's get it. Hey yo, GS Gang, what is good? Take a knee. We got a special one. This is this is gonna be fun today. It's gonna be fun today. I got hit up by someone who's been rocking with the gang for a minute. My man Lorenzo Victor. Huge shout out to him. It's his birthday today. Uh, but the way that this came about was a little bit weird, right? So my man hits me up and he's like, yo, he slides me this joint with Vector and Lottie Poe. He's like, you gotta do it. We need, re we need a reaction for this. I was like, all right, cool. Yo, send it to quality. I'll put it on the list. And he's like, oh, come on. He's like, yo, it's my birthday. And I was like, ah. all right, let me see. I checked this page out. I go to his page and it's just pictures of him with beautiful women dressed 10 times better. I was like, fuck you. No, you got enough positivity going on in your life. You don't need this. And I kept scrolling, and I realized he was bald, he had a strong beard. I was like, nah, we gotta stick together. You're right. You're right. So I just wanna give a huge shout out uh, to my guy, Lorenzo. Uh, he's part of the GS gang for a minute. Appreciate you spreading the word, my guy. Uh, and any chance I get a chance to tap in with some extra Laddie Poe, I'm in. Uh, Vector, I've been turning the leaf on lately. Uh, I do believe there's a there's a not 0% chance I already heard this, because this is off Tesla, isn't it? Uh, so the reason that I didn't react to this is because I wanted to just react to something. Uh, from Vector that didn't have a feature bias. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm already a huge lifeline. You know what I'm saying? So this, the fact that Laddie Poe was on it, I was like, I'm already know I'm going to do this. But we're here now. We're about to dig into it. I'm excited. 2024, we got nothing but positive energy. Uh, let's do it. Do me a favor. Run the gun. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. A little bell notification, guy. We're about to eat, man. Let's go. Ah, let's go, man. Laddie Poe, Vector, Vector, Laddie Poe. I should probably do that in the correct order, right? This looks fire. We got a whole video? Yes, we do. Let's get it. You know when P. Diddy said he wasn't scared of clowns and a clown popping up had Diddy dancing around? Let's address it. You know when P. Diddy said he wasn't scared of clowns And a clown popping up at Diddy dancing around Fear as a concept is the funniest one So here's a clue Ellen was the generous one to show us real life footage of the fear Alright, come on, right off the bat His flow on this beat is actually super fucking fire right now Pull this back real quick I like, it's got that impact It's got like that punchline impact to it Like built into the beat This shit go hard, hold up You know when P. Diddy said he wasn't scared of- Also, I definitely didn't hear this yet because this is a very unique intro. And I feel like, you know, if I knew about a, a song with P. Diddy and Clowns, and like, I feel like that would have, you know what I mean? That would have set something off. I would have I would have remembered that. Popping up had Diddy dancing around. Let's address this. Let's address this. You know when P. Diddy said he wasn't scared of clowns and a clown popping up at Diddy dancing around. Fear as a concept is the funniest one, so here's a clue. Ellen was the generous one to show us real life footage of the fearless ones to inspire us that the fearless ones were careless ones. And it's okay to lose God on the show, but when you still meet the wolves, dance with them and let them go, then you on to the next like Swiss made a beat and Pope had a verse saying the only chill on him is right on his neck. City feet is defeat, that's why my clapping grounds you, cause defeat is defeat and the greed is. Ah, look, look, I'm we turning over a positive leaf. There's nobody. Stoke could come on this shit himself freestyling and if he has a defeat bar, we not bigging that up. Come on. We no 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 more like no more defeat bars. It's 2024. Let this shit go. We're not catching a body like Pilates. You're not trying to catch up and let the mustards with none, none of that stuff, right? No, let all this go. Agreed. As long as you check the flag on my country and the green is the green with the white in between. Being content versus putting your tent with the greedy. It's all in the jeans. Your jeans. Shina hunger. You want the bread where they come with the beef. <laughs> Shina burger. <laughs> I mean the Add that with the fuck <laughs> cheese for the team. Yeah. Shina topa. Topa. Yeah. Mm. But you knew that. Motherfucker. Warren Buffett. 
Uh, look, his flow is actually super dope on that. I, that that might be one of my favorite flows from Vector. The syllable matchups, the way that he was getting this shit off was super dope. Lyrically, wasn't necessarily for me. We had two huge fouls on the play. Uh, so we're going to give that one up to a delivery package. I like that. Laddie Pope was good. Uh, yeah. But you knew that. Motherfucker. Warren Buffett once said, be afraid when they're greedy. And be greedy when they're afraid. So I'm really no surprise. Sanity and sanitizer have tripled in price today. Yeah. Out here, we don't live. Ah, that happened. We survived, don't you know? Without a doubt, the most dangerous man alive is a married man with kids. Desperation in his eyes. The things he's willing to do in the name of God to provide. Mm. Yeah. No mentors. Many, 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 many millionaires. Mm. They can't show us the design because behind every fortune there is usually a crime. Mm. Ah. It's in the jeans though. Fear and grief stitched in the denim of your soul. If laughing to the bank is in the nature of a clown, then oh shit, we all clowns. Shina Honga, you want the bread where they come with the beef? Shina Boga, I mean they. Neither of y'all are getting that. I look, I'm a Lottie Pope. No, knock, knock, the, knock that off. Stop that. Who had cheese for the team? Shina Topa. That's the last line. I'll tell you what, I really like the energy that they bring together. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel because Laddie Post definitely usually a little bit more laid back. and They, they sound great together on the track, I'll be honest. Uh, let's get to it, let's, let's go. Let's, let's, let's drop it down. Let's get small. Let's see how we really felt about it. Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, we'll talk about that later. We got a whole bunch of shit that's been rolling out this year. Uh, let's get to the scorecard. So we are... Uh, we're still up in the air with Vec. Uh, I think he caught. I think he got. I think he did end up catching like two or something like that. And then obviously we're fans with Laddie Poe. Target audience for this one. Yeah, it was cool. It was cool. Proper setting for this. Uh, I think just the beat alone kind of put this as like whip music for me. Like I could definitely see like just just the fucking the laid back like you know you know what I'm saying. Soon, like as soon as the fucking beat drops and shit like that. Uh, bars of lyrics. Honestly, I think lyrically this was probably the the weakest showing for the uh, the actual track in and of itself. Uh, I'll give it like a fifteen out of twenty five. Delivery of vocals. Actually, like there's nothing I would change about that. I'm gonna say twenty five out of twenty five for delivery of vocals because I really think sonically it sounded good. They they complemented each other voice wise. I think the delivery package used for the entire thing was super fucking dope. Kept me locked in. Uh, really, it's just me kind of dogging on those overplayed lines and shit like that was the only thing that took that down. Uh, the beat selection, 15 out of 15. I think the beat was dope. The beat was super dope. Sound quality, mixing, 15 out of 15. Nothing I would take points on. Effectiveness. Did this make you want to check out more? No. This is not going to be the one that was going to push me to become a bigger fan of Laddie Poe or push me, you know, over over the fence to become a fan of Vector. Uh, 5 out of 10. Uh, enjoyability. Look, man, it's my, we doing this for my man's B-Day and shit like that. I have fun with it. Uh, I do think the delivery package, every time I find something about an artist that I like a little bit more here and there, it takes a while for me to warm up to somebody sometimes. Uh, so I like being able to take that. I'm, I'm feeling like right in the same thing. Give me another 5 out of 10. 80 out of 100. For a two-minute song, no hook or nothing like that, just two short verses, 80 out of 100 sounds super dope, right exactly where I feel with this. Uh, so that's my score. Let me know, do you agree, do you disagree? Put it down in the comments below. As always, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I will catch y'all on the next one. Let's go. Also, don't be hitting me up when it's your birthday. Ask for reactions. This is just for Lorenzo. I don't want 50 other people hitting me up because now you're going to make me work 10 times harder. No, none of that. This was a one-off. So shout out to him. But don't be hitting me up for that shit. I'll talk to y'all later, man. Okay.